morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to March, March Day 2, March 3, right here at the Tafal Balewa Square Cricket Oval. It's the game between the high-ranked team, Tanzania and Nigeria. And I have with me here the captain of Tanzania, the captain of Nigeria, the tournament referee, Toye Timinade, and the third umpire, Veronica. The task will be taken now. Head has it. Tanzania, captain, please come. Now you want the thirst. What would you be doing first? I'll bat first. You'll be batting first. Is there any changes in your side for today's game? Yeah, we have two changes. Uh, Saum Borakam will be in and Sheila Shamt will be out. And uh, the last two changes, Saum Borakam will be in and uh, Sheila Shamt will be out. Also, Saum Hussein will be in and... Uh, wicket keeper say that will be out. So you had your first defeat yesterday against Rwanda. Do you think that the strategy you played yesterday will be a different one you're going to be playing today against Nigeria? Yeah, there will be a difference because we, uh, yesterday we could organize our mistake and we work on it. So in order today to play good cricket. Thank you very much, Captain. I wish you all the best. Team Nigeria, Captain, blessing. You lost the test. Do you think that um, the decision by the Tanzania Captain actually did play to your favor or you would have done something else? We would have parted, but um, all the other way, we are going to field, and that's not a problem anyway. Talking about fielding, yesterday a lot of drop catches was done by the team Nigeria. Do you think that the meeting you had yesterday will be a totally different field inside we'll be seeing today for Nigeria? Everything has been discussed, and a different thing will be happening today. Finally, is there any changes in your side? Yeah, just one changes, and Lillian is out, Rachel is in. Thank you very much, Captain. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Tanzania has won the toss and they've elected to bat first. Who are the two umpires for today's game? And we hope that based on standard. What a good start from Team Nigeria. Up in the air. Ooh, just one bounce right in front of her players in this team Samson blessing a team as the sanding are really one of the very experienced players in in this Nigerian side and that's the first boundary we're seeing on the screen and has deep mid wickets protection for her and that's what I just said IJ just look at it you can't just keep bowling like that to a left-hander bowling is on the leg side you just give it the left-hander Goes big, would that be taken? Dropped catch! Dropped catch! Cricket to Nigeria. That's why it just looks like the first thing. Lovely shot. That has only considered 15 runs. Run out chance. Miscommunication. Can that take it taken off? The umpire's fingers are still down. She said no out. Swept over square leg with that race all the way to the boundary for four. Yes, it has. Up in the air, raced all the way to the boundary for four. Lo what a lovely shot. That she comes out. This has this gone big. Is this the maximum? Is that maximum? Yes, it is. Ready. Butter comes out this time, beats the fielder who was at the ring. Another boundary, back to back boundaries. Is that a catch? Can that be taken? Can that be taken? Is that taken? Yes, it is. Oh, I beg your pardon, it's a six. He is a Swamutai. Full toss again, uh, hit powerfully. There's a fielder hit, but she can only watch it sail over. Make that. Got to be very careful. Into the parts. Flicked away into the vacant region. This ball is resting away yet to another boundary. Or in a few weeks, if I'm a six, next month, what do you think the Nigerian team needs? Uh, look at that. Not what the Nigerian team needs at this point. First time in vain, and, and second time is uh, all the batters are striking it uh, around 100. Uh, sw swept away straight away. The intentions are clear. She gets off the marker. 
to ease the call. They are running very hard and she makes it comfortably. Good running bit coming in from the court of appeal end. Back over length, uh, Lauda P there, and the finger is up uh, from the umpire NSC. I would really love to see that on the replay. That from the first power play, they had a scare of open the air cannot be taken. Oh, no screamer by Esther Sandy at cover. One is the team manager, Samata Gazuma. She had the highest run scored. Oh my world, another one. I, th I think I, th I think. <laughs> 6.39, a chance begging in the sky. Oh, Sandy drops a sitter. Mte uh, and Kamuya, who are both scored. Um, oh, misfield there. Misfield there by that fielder. First ball, doing damage. That's, that's intelligent of Omari, Very opening intelligent. her body and converting that. That vacant space. Will she have a breakthrough in this over? Squish that through. Show that ball raised the race all the way to the boundary. Played it late through points and cover region. Place that up. in the air. Salome sits under it. Okay, that's Lucky Piety. Misses that. So this brings me to a question we would take in that final over option for a catch and Salome does the job deep square cow corner full toss Ooh. Mohamed Ali she knew what you wanted to do that was too full show sky is it in the air who has this another drop catch it's not going well with the ball in the sky for Team Nigeria. Oh, you proponent of mathematics and not for me. What Nigerians need is um, seven runs per over. It's doable, it's achievable. And uh, Fourth edition of the Nigerian Cricket Federation Women's T20IN. We see the first ball in the second innings. Nigeria requires seven runs per over. Skies it up. Lovely shot. Four on. Shown Paris and Sam Saum did the And of course, it's all over. She got her second wicket. Good shot, one day, and that will raise for a four. Lovely ball, or will she just try to play for defensive? Now this has gone towards the leg side, definitely. That should race all the way to the boundary for four. There is no way the field should move for that. That was right. Appeal. Oh, given the hands, the fingers are up. I think we would love to see this. Nigeria. Up in the air, show up in the air. Easy catch, easy does it. This is not what we want to see. Show. Yeah, great to be back here again, Biomi. Up in the air and oh, I thought the field that was quite under it, but here, another opportunity for Peculiar to stay in back there. As the captain blessing at him is on strike. Goes down the V, straight down, can long off, take that off. Oh, lovely piece of batting. But able to get up to this mark, you have to as much as you can keep the scoreboard ticking. Playing inside like Tanzania. And even Rwanda was short there from Etim Blessing. No one's stopping that. All right, so I would step aside and hand over to. Can happen, but with this. It's becoming the more difficult, but the ca captain just goes Skies up. Sky is that. And they drop Takes catch. a long time. Swivels around the ball. Oh, 
gone. Finally, the captain has lost her wicket by Rwanda. But with this now, it's going to be difficult. Picked up by uh, Adekule into the vacant region. They're looking for a second one. They managed to get there comfortably in ensuring that um, they come back bigger and stronger. Talking about drop chances, uh, another one bites the dust. It having dropped the most experienced two players of the side. Takes a little shimmy down the pitch. A little bit too. Let the match summary of how things panned out. Thank you very much. And four overs, seven runs, four wickets, with one made in over. Whoso whoever than Kamaya Zakoya from Tanzania.